So hi, if you, if you missed my earlier talk, um, I gave a teaser for this lightning talk, which is going to be the story of how Meteor 0641 came about last week. And what happened is that I found a bug in JSBSON, which is a Mongo library that the node Mongo driver uses to serialize and deserialize BSON, which is Mongo's binary, binary serialization format. So what happened with this bug is that there was kind of a mismatch. And what I mean is that in BSON, a document is kind of like a sequence of elements, and each element is a kind of a key value pair. And those keys in BSON are null terminated. So you just can't have a, a, a key in BSON that has a null byte in the middle of it. But in JavaScript, you can. And in fact, here's an example of a perfectly valid JavaScript object that has a null byte stuck in the middle of a key. So first, I'm going to show a demo that takes advantage of this mismatch, and then I'll kind of explain uh, what's going on. So for my demo here, I have this really simple Meteor app. Uh, it has a collection of user profiles, and it has this one method called insert profile, which allows um, the client to take a document and insert it into the database. Uh, but users aren't allowed to set themselves as admins, so we delete the admin key uh, before inserting the profile into the database. So there's this one little client portion, which is just a template helper that does this query and tells us the number, the number of results. And what you'd expect is that this query is always zero. We're never allowing people to insert admin profiles, so we should never, never have admin profiles come out of the database as the result of our query. So first, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to run this app against 064, which is the unpatch, uses the unpatched uh, Mongo driver. And it starts up. We see it clears out the collection. I'm going to go to the app. And we see it has zero admins, as you'd expect. And the first thing I'll just do is show that you that that admin, tro uh, admin check actually worked. So if I try to insert this, we'll see the number of admins stays zero. And if we go look in the database, we see we have our object with its foobar key, but the admin key has been stripped, which is what we wanted. So now I have an exploit over here. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it into the console. But you can see what it's doing is it's just ca calling insert profile. And it's passing this object. And this is just one really big object with only one key and one value. And you can see the key kind of looks like admin, but it isn't admin. It has this null byte and some other stuff in it. So we're going to paste this into our console and run it. And lo and behold, we get an admin in there. And if we look in the database, we, we have an actual object with, with our admin here. So let's see. What's, what's going on here? So we have our attacker sending this, this, this JSON to the app when it calls insert profile. And this is just a truncated version of, of the JSON uh, that I showed in the exploit. And the app is saying, OK, does this have an admin key? Nope, that's good. Nothing to strip out there. And then it's going to go insert it into the database. And as it's on its way to the database, it gets passed through this JSBSON library. And how does the JSBSON library serialize it? It produces this, this blob of, a blob of BSON. And there's some, some other stuff in there, like the length of the document and other things. But you can kind of see where the attacker's key and value ended up there. And so that's what goes into the database. So, so now let's look what happens when, when the Meteor app makes a query to read that document out of the database. So the same BSON blob comes out that went in. And JSBSON is going to go deserialize it. So it starts, it looks at the first four bytes. Those are the length of the document. That's fine. And then it starts to read an element out. And I said an element is a key value pair. And the first byte of an element is the, the type of the value. And, and then, OK, so that's fine. It's a string value. And then JSBSON goes and starts to read the key. And the key is null terminated. So, so this is where the problem comes in, that, that JSBSON is reading a key, but it stops. And it says, OK, I have my key admin as soon as it hits that null byte. So, so it has its admin key. The next four bytes are the length of the value. It treats those as the length. It treats this as the value. And then the rest of the input was constructed so that this would all parse as, as some elements with some null bytes in them. So, or sorry, so some elements with null values. 
So what ends up coming out of JSBSON is an object with an admin key. And it all kind of came about because we had that null byte in the key in our original object. And what happened is that JSBSON parsed that key up to the null byte, and we got a key out, which was not the key that we put in. So the fix to this is really simple, or simple which is that BSON serializers just shouldn't allow null bytes in, in key names, because as soon as those serialize into BSON, they're going to be deserialized as something else. So we provided a patch to Mongo, and they really quickly got, got out a, a fix to the node Mongo driver. So that was great. And we used that patch in our 0641 release. So um, you should update your apps. And uh, just to prove to you that you should update your apps, um, if I run this against 0641, um, and we go back here and run our exploit again, you'll see the number of admins stays 0. And we actually got an exception here saying that the key shouldn't contain null bytes. So. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. Was there a need for that big blob of zero x one after? Yeah. So I, I think it's maybe possible to make a simpler exploit, but I'm not sure how. The, the problem is like the the whole thing has to parse as valid BSON. So um, let me pull up the. Um, yeah, so, so the length, the, 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 the thing that comes after this value, these next four bytes, that's the, the length of, of the, the real value that the attacker put in. And that length has to parse as a valid element in BSON. And it just so happens that in order to parse, as, as far as I can see, in order to parse as a valid element, that has to be a big number, which means the actual value has to match that number in length. Um, I was Googling around for cool things to um, include in my Mongo injections part of my talk, and <laughs> like null, null byte injections are a thing, and so I went and made an exploit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? All right, thank you.